this video, you're going to learn how to play back the patterns in the Boom Virtual Drum Machine using MIDI. Now, when you're working inside Boom, it's easy enough to switch between patterns by just using the pattern select switches. But the whole point of having this drum machine as part of Pro Tools is to use it in your songs and productions. So let's look at how to do that. Once you have patterns created inside Boom, you can trigger them via MIDI using your MIDI keyboard controller. We mentioned in a previous video that the first 16 keys on your keyboard trigger the individual instrument sounds in the Boom. Well, the patterns in Boom can be played the same way. On your MIDI keyboard, the notes between C3 and D sharp 4 will trigger each of the 16 patterns in the current preset. Now, since the sequencer in Pro Tools records MIDI notes, all you need to do to switch your patterns throughout the song is record the notes that correspond to the patterns you want to play. Just record enable the instrument track that the boom is on, start recording, and use the keys on your keyboard to play the patterns. And when you're done recording, you'll be able to play back the session and the notes will trigger the correct patterns at the correct time. Watch the pattern select buttons as I play back what I just recorded. Now, another way to create your pattern changes is just to draw them in. Open up the MIDI editor, Scroll the display to make sure that you're seeing the octave that triggers the patterns. So you want to see three and four. And you can click on the keys to trigger the patterns. Now make sure you've got your pencil tool selected and to make it really easy, set your grid value to one bar. And then draw in one whole note event for each pattern you want to play. And when you play it back, each one of these notes is going to trigger the correct pattern at the correct time. Okay, so there you have it. That's how you play back your boom drum machine patterns using MIDI. So thanks for watching this tutorial and I will see you in the next video.